Hey everybody, Steve Bertrand here. By this time, I'm hoping you all know RollingMotivation.com. I shouldn't need to say that, but uh, I wanted to do a quick video today. We're in Victoria. The sun is shining. I'm probably squinting in this video. I'll look at it later and give it an edit. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was how much control you have in your life and the circumstances that you deal with. Some people say, you know, things are what they are. You know, things will be what they'll be and you know, some people are just lucky, some people are born into, you know, the success that they have, or they're, some people just worry less and all that kind of stuff, and it's, you know, you don't have a ton of control over different things. You know, I'm just an unlucky person is what some people will tell you. Well, I'm here to say that my belief is that you have a lot of control over what you deal with in your life. You know, and a lot of it is, is controlling your own environment and, and the people that you're around. It's it's very easy to do that in in your work environments and your friendships more or less because you can sort of you can pick and choose who you want to be around in a work environment unless it's smaller you know then you you might just be sort of in a one-on-one -on -one situation with someone that you really don't get along with and that way you have to you know learn ways to communicate with that individual just basically to make your life as easy as possible Friendships, you know, I say it's e probably the easiest, but it's not exactly easy to do that. Again, we go through the Jim Rohn uh, three categories of friendships, which is the limited association, disassociation, and expanded association. Uh, disassociation, obviously those toxic negative people you don't want in your life anymore. You know, get them out of there and, and set yourself some solid rules and boundaries of what a uh, good friend to you qualifies as. And then, of course, obviously reciprocate that. Uh, if they don't fit that category, disassociate. Uh, the second category is limited association, which is maybe those long-term friends that you're just not really great friends with, but you don't want to lose that connection. And so you, you want to continue on being friends with those individuals and you see them on a limited basis. Expanded association are obviously those people that make you feel awesome and wonderful and great. Uh, so put your friends in those categories. Uh, and in terms of of anything else, like family and work relationships and, and things like that, and, and you know, maybe uh, certain certain individuals that you cannot maybe control the uh, the fact that they're around all the time you know so you need to be able to control your reaction and there's three ways that you can do that number one you just got to remember that 95% of the time if someone else is choked at you or, or they're upset it's their issue not yours you know you, you always are gonna have something that you could have said different or done different or something like that in that situation to make them happy but most of the time if someone doesn't like you it's not gonna matter what you're gonna be able to do they're just not gonna and number two just always look at what you have got to be grateful for I mean there's there's always something to be grateful for I'm grateful for the sunshine I'm grateful for the awesome phone that makes me do these half-ass amateur videos that people watch and seem to like and it lets me connect with people in a way that I'm really good at which is better than just typing a blog I mean I did that for years and I liked it but I felt like there's a better way to connect you get to see me you get to hear my crap voice you get to hear me say um and ah or do whatever I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing because of Toastmasters and all that kind of stuff but but you can be grateful for anything in your life and then also you got to just remember the biggest thing that I do is there's a certain person that I want to be in my life that I ideally to have the happiest life for me as an individual there's some certain things that I want to be able to do a certain way so I visualize that individual and I work to become that person every day because I believe that that's the strongest most powerful Steve that I can be and that's the biggest thing is just pick who you want to be and, and head in that direction every day making small improvements that's what this website's for it's to help with that it's to help me with that and that's what I work at. So just to recap, you know, remember that if someone is confrontational and you're maybe not getting along with them, 95% of the time it's going to be their issue. So it's something that you need to remember not to concern yourself with. Number two, take some time every day and look at what you need to be grateful for. The your crazy family members, the, the happy friends, the babies in your life, the car that you have, anything that you can be grateful for look at that and and that'll change your state that'll change how you feel about the day and then number three is just look at that ideal lifestyle it's shape it in your head shape it in your reality and head towards that to become that individual so that's what i got for you today i'm gonna get back to enjoying this sun and 
and then we'll uh, we'll touch base soon. Like I said, I try and put a video out usually every Wednesday. It's probably this one's probably not going to be out on until like on Thursday, but we'll we'll work it out and hopefully I'll get it in there uh, on a on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis. Uh, keep subscribed to my Facebook page, uh, Facebook slash Rolling Motivation, YouTube slash Rolling Motivation, and of course on Twitter at R Motivation. And don't forget to subscribe to my website, throw your email address down the right hand side and you will never miss a new post from me. Uh, big things happening in the next little while and I'll keep you all posted. Thanks so much for stopping by.